Lewis Hamilton, F1 legend calls out Mercedes star over five world championships The new Formula One season gets underway in little over a month in Australia with anticipation building on what to expect. Daniel Ricciardo starts his new journey at Renault having left Red Bull while exciting talent Pierre Gasly takes the Australian seat. There also some expectation on the young Charles Leclerc who will team up with Sebastian Vettel at Ferrari. But all the pressure will once again be on defending champions Mercedes and whether Hamilton can win a sixth world title. The Britain has dominated the sport over the last five years, winning four championships since joining Mercedes. There was a long wait between his first world title with McLaren back in 2008 and his second in 2014. But Hamilton now has Michael Schumacher's record of seven championship wins in his sights. However, Stewart believes the 34-year-old has had fortune on his side throughout his career. Lewis currently is not only driving well, but he has also got the best team in the world with the best engine in the world right now, Stewart told but he's driving it well too. You've got so many other dimensions to it when you're a Formula One driver, and the dependency of the car. When I left the Matra, I went to a march, for the 1970 season. Now that was a challenge. So, if Lewis were to go from Mercedes and go to an uncompetitive team, that would be a challenge. Lewis has done extremely well, but he's been a very lucky boy, to have, former McLaren boss, Ron Dennis pick him up the way he did, to bring him up the way he did. And in those days, the McLaren was the best car in the world in Formula One, including Ferrari. Next News F1 News 2019, Daniel Ricciardo a chance for Nico Hulkenberg to prove himself. Daniel Ricciardo's arrival at Renault will provide new teammate Nico Hulkenberg with an opportunity to prove himself, according to the Aussie's new boss, Marcin Budkowski. Hulkenberg holds the unwanted record for the most F1 races without a podium finish but has consistently outperformed his teammates since Renault's return to the sport as a works team in 2017. He has seen off the challenges of Gillian Palmer and Carlos Sainz but will face his biggest challenge yet the French manufacturer in 2019 with the signing of Ricciardo who has been a podium regular during his time with Red Bull. Hulkenberg jokingly revealed his reaction to the Ricciardo announcement was one of devastation, saying he was on the floor crying, before insisting it was good news. And Renault's Formula One executive Budkowski is looking forward to seeing what effect the added competition of Ricciardo has on the German this season and doesn't expect any problems with the pair's relationship. I don't think Nico was resting on any laurels, he said. Carlos was a good push for him last year and we were very happy with the interaction of the two drivers. For Nico now having Daniel coming with his reputation as a very quick driver, as a very quick racer and overtaker, and proven himself as a race winner, he sees it as an opportunity to prove himself. His reaction was not at all unhappy that someone of the caliber of Daniel was coming, he was very happy about it. He feels it's a great opportunity for himself to show what he's capable of. We're going to have an interesting interaction there between two drivers who have never been competing against each other in the same team, who are both highly rated. 
but I don't expect that to be a problematic relationship at all. Quite the opposite. Next news Alonzo advises Mick Schumacher, learn to walk before you can run. Former F1 driver Fernando Alonso has given Mick Schumacher some valuable advice, as the Spaniard warned Michael Schumacher's son that he has to learn to walk before he starts running. The 19-year-old Schumacher carries the name of the most successful F1 driver of all time, which puts a massive spotlight on the teenager. His old man won seven championships and won over 90 races in F1, while Mick won the Formula 3 championship last year. He will go to Formula 2 in 2019, where he's expected to do well too. Alonso is one of the only people in history who took down Schumacher at his peak. So he knows what he's talking about when discussing Derek Redmeister. The weight of that last name and his history, it will be very hard, Alonso, who is a two-time champion himself, explained to Corriere della Sera when asked if Schumacher can live up to his name. I have some advice for Mick though. And that is to learn to walk before you start running. Michael stopped racing when he was 43, so you don't always have to look at your expiry date. It's about realizing when somebody is stronger than you. This can happen when you're 25 or when you're 48. Again, age has nothing to do with it. Next news Renault. Hulkenberg out to prove himself against Ricciardo. Renault F1 executive director Marcin Budkowski says that Nico Hulkenberg is treating Daniel Ricciardo's presence in the French team this year as an opportunity to prove himself. Hulkenberg has always been perceived as a solid and reliable performer in F1. But after eight seasons and 156 Grands Prix, the German still carries the weight of an unenviable record, he is the driver with the most traces without a podium finish. The 31-year-old, who started his career with Williams in 2010, joined Renault in 2017, where he has had the upper hand over his successive teammates, Gillian Palmer and Carlos Sainz. However, with Ricciardo, Hulkenberg will be up against a multiple race winner, but Budkowski says the incumbent has no inhibitions about racing against Renault's new recruit. Carlos was a good push for him last year and we were very happy with the interaction of the two drivers, said the Renault F1 boss. For Nico. Now having Daniel coming with his reputation as a very quick driver, as a very quick racer and overtaker, and proven himself as a race winner, he sees it as an opportunity to prove himself. During a recent Q&A with fans, Hulkenberg joked that the news of the Aussies' arrival had left him devastated. In reality, as a true competitor, he was anything but disappointed with his employer's choice. His reaction was not at all unhappy that someone of the caliber of Daniel was coming, he was very happy about it. He feels it's a great opportunity for himself to show what he's capable of, added Budkowski. We're going to have an interesting interaction there between two drivers who have never been competing against each other in the same team, who are both highly rated. But I don't expect that to be a problematic relationship at all. Next news Bottas, Kubica return will bring Williams back to where they deserve to be. 
Mercedes AMG Petronas Motorsport S Valtteri Bottas has said he is sure that Robert Kubica's return to Formula One will boost the morale of Williams Racing following a dire 2018 season. Following the departure of Nico Rosberg after his 2016 championship win, Bottas was drafted in to replace him, vacating his seat at Williams. The team struggled, failing to repeat the successes of years gone by, having the worst season yet in the sport last year, where they finished at the bottom of the Constructors' Championship, scoring a mere seven points in all. The 2019 will see an all-new driver lineup for the Grove-based outfit, as rookie Sergi Sorotkin is left without a seat, with his Canadian teammate Lance Stroll moving to Racing Point F1 team, Kubica will be paired with ex-Mercedes junior driver George Russell. Bottas said, for Robert it will be nice to see how it goes. He has been racing for a while, so it will be nice to see how he compares to George Russell. I think for the team, that has had a tough team and I know how difficult it is to keep up the motivation and the good spirit when things are tough maybe a new driver's lineup will bring more positivity and things to look forward. He added, I'm sure they'll be full of energy, both drivers, for the great opportunity they're both having. Hopefully that will help put Williams where they deserve to be and not where they are now. There have also been a number of changes within the team, including the departure of race engineer Rob Smedley, with team principal Claire Williams hopeful the team will be able to start afresh for the upcoming season. Kubica's return to F1 hit the headlines when it was announced at last year's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, nine years since his last stint in the sport, after his right forearm was partially severed during a rally crash at the start of 2011. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.